Hi everybody, I'm Solomon, the Arkansas Diamond Miner. Today I'm going to make a quick video about screening material. Uh, so you can see kind of how to use a set of box screens here at the Crater Diamond State Park. So I've got a set of screens that I picked up here in town. Um, I've already got some material chosen and in here, so you want to use both screens at a time. Submerge them into water. And there's a grate inside there so they won't sink all the way to the bottom. I've seen people take and get a rental set. If you rent a set from the Crater of Diamonds, a couple things you got to watch for is sometimes the screen can be a little bit loose on the bottom. But if you actually take and lay these inside to put your material in, they'll come apart and your top screen will float away. So that's one thing to watch out for. Either way, so I've got my screens in here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start working my material through the top screen. That's the one quarter inch size. And what's going to happen is the smaller material is going to fall through into the bottom screen. And it's going to leave all your larger rocks will stay in the top screen. What I'm left with is any of the rocks that are larger than one quarter inch will be separated out. And you still want to check this. You could have a diamond that's larger than a carat, carat and a half, two carats, somewhere in there, depending on the shape, will be left in this. So you don't want to just throw this out. Usually, what I do is I shake it a little bit to get the heaviers onto the bottom. I dig through from the top side. It's usually a good idea to do this on top of your other screen set because, as you can see, rocks will still fall through. So uh, I've been through a lot of this material. I haven't seen anything that I really like with it, but uh, yeah, so that's a piece of glass. But I don't see anything that looks like a diamond there. So now my bottom screen has all the finer material left behind and some silt. So I'm going to start working that around a little bit. kind of shake it and you can get some of the sand and silt to fall through. This material that I got had a lot of sand in it. So once you get less of the material in, you kind of work it down a little bit. You can see that's about half of what it was initially. So what you're doing is using specific gravity to get the heavier minerals to the bottom. So you can kind of bounce it, just kind of bounce it off your fingertips and that'll allow them to fall a little bit and get concentrated on the bottom. And use side to side motion to get a loaf through the center. And then you can tap it back down. So when you make the first loaf through the middle, what you're doing is you're lining up heavy minerals in a line across the bottom. So what you'll do is you'll turn it, you can tap it flat, make that loaf through the middle the other direction, and you've now taken that line and squished it together. So now your heavies are in the center. So what you want to do is do that a few times, rotating your top screen. After a few times, you should have all your heavier minerals in the center of the screen. Okay, so uh, here's my flip screen. As you can see, there is not a whole lot of heavy material in this, but what material there is, is moved to the center. 
So what I'll do is I'll harvest that center and I brought a Saruka with me. So I'll do about six or seven centers into that Saruka and reconcentrate. All right, so now I'm gonna take my center So now I've got about seven or eight centers in this Saruka. I'm going to go through and concentrate it again, and I'm going to do the same thing. And there are a couple different ways to do this. You can do it similar to a set of box screens where you make a loaf in the center and then you turn it. And just keep doing that. What I like to do is make a loaf and turn it about 15, 20 degrees each time and just start making it, making its way around. Drain the water out. So now what I'm left with is all of the centers that I had originally are now concentrated again into another center. Uh, so all of those heavies are now right here. Okay, so uh, this is a center for my Saruka, so this is actually about seven or eight screens worth. Uh, if I had larger screens, custom made screens, I'd probably have a little bit bigger a center than this, just because I could break down more t material at a time. But you can kind of see it's the same overall principle where you move the heavy minerals to the center, and you know that's what that's what the center is right there. I can see a little piece of chromium dioxide right there, a little lime green piece of it. So uh, normally what you look for is kind of making this bullseye. So if there's a diamond, it's usually going to be in the edge of one of the rings. And if you do this correctly, you shouldn't find a diamond outside in the lighter material. All right, so now I'm going to take, got a small bucket today because it's already kind of late in the day. And it helps if you have a large scoop to do this. I can still use my hands and just make a couple of scoops at it. That right there should have it all. So this is the bucket of material I'll be bringing home. So thank you for watching my video. If you would please like and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, please do leave them in the comment section below. Thanks.